Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem called design hash set. So the problem says that we want to design a hash set without using any built-in hash table libraries. So we can't use collections, we can't use uh, hash tables. Um, and what we are asked to do is to design uh, a hash set class with three functions, add, contains, and remove. Um, they are self-explanatory really. This adds a key uh, into the hash set checks if the key exists and removes the key from the hash set and if it does not exist we do nothing um, for remove so that's pretty much the problem here um, one thing we are told is that the keys can be up to 10 to the power of 6 um, and we'd have at most 10 to the power of 4 calls so the simplest solution which probably not uh, very um, satisfactory to, to use but it, but it should work is uh, just using a list basically um, just a list of booleans that are initialized to false and when we when add is called we set the key to true uh, and contains we check if the key uh, the value in the array is true or not and then remove we just set it to false so that that, that solution is pretty straightforward um, but it has a huge memory um, it uses a lot of memory <laughs> Um, yeah, so the implementation of that solution, uh, I'm, I'm not going to, uh, to write it out uh, um, line by line, but it's this, it's pretty straightforward, right? Uh, we just initialize a list of false values. And then for adding an element, we set the value to true. For removing, we set it to false. And to check if it contains, we check if the value is true, because that's what we set it on if, if it's added, right? So very straightforward solution. Let's just submit it, make sure it passes. And that passes test cases. Now, um, how can we how can we do it in a way that doesn't use this list because it's too big? Um, um, okay, so how can we um, solve it here? Um, for uh, how can we solve it in a way that that we don't use that much memory? So the main idea is okay, uh, and this is um, a hashing basically concept, uh, essentially. So what we want is maybe to use a smaller list. Let's suppose this is just one thousand buckets, just the one thousand um, array of size one thousand. So array size is one thousand, right? So we can use that. However. Um, we have keys that can be size up to 10 to the power of 6. So how can we map this bigger space of keys, right, to this smaller, um, to this smaller um, um, array, right? So the main idea here is that we can apply some hashing function where we pass it a key here from this value and that, let's say this is key 1, will map to a position in this array. But because, because this size is bigger and this size is smaller, eventually we will have um, two keys, let's say key i, k i, and key j that map to the same spot, right? And so what does this mean? We can't override, right? We can't override the same position. If we have just um, a list of values, then we'll override and have, um, if k i is inserted first and k j is inserted second, then we will override k, k i with k j, right? And so how can we do this? Well, the simple thing would, would be to keep a list in views here instead of just one value. What this would mean is here we'll add k i and k j, and here we'll add k1. And if there is another value, let's say k uh, uh, maybe m, that maps to the same slot, uh, or, uh, sorry, this not k, k1 is here, that maps to the same side, then we'll just add it, right? And if you want to remove it, then we'll just remove it from the list, right? Um, and so, and if we want to check contain, we just get the bucket and check if the element is in this list or not, right? And so what should be the function to map? That's where there are different algorithms, but the simplest one is just to take mod, right? Which means basically, from the value 0 to, um, let's say, 999, those will map to, uh, those will map to directly, like, it's the same value, but once you get, like, 1000, 
this one will map to position zero. And once you get this one, this will map to position one. And then this one will map to position two. And you get the idea. And we can do this with just key uh, mod um, the, the size. Let's call this size. So we can use this function. There are different functions you can use. There are more complicated ones that um, that make it um, that make it more efficient. Um, but the simplest one is, is this one: is to use a function to get the key, to map from the key space to this list of buckets. So we can call this buckets, and that function would be just key modulo uh, size. Okay, we can use, as I said, more sophisticated uh, functions can can make it so that for a bucket, in the worst case, we don't get a lot of values, right? Because in the worst case here, if we had maybe a lot of values um, that end, let's say, with, with three zeros, then this one here will fill up, right? It would be, the, sp the values here will be a lot larger, right? Um, then let's say we had maybe um, 1,000 from this, then we would have 1,000 in this list, right? Like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. If we had a lot of these values, then this list will get really long. So in, this, in the worst case, this list can actually get pretty long. And so we can use more sophisticated functions to make it that it's less likely that one uh, list will get long. And this is basically um, when two keys map to the same position, that's called a collision. Um, the other thing I want to mention here is that it doesn't have to be a list, right? You can use a linked list here. Um, and that will make insertion and uh, insertion faster, right? Um, um, or, or maybe removal also can be somewhat faster if it's removed from the end. Uh, if you use a sorted list, then searching for an element, searching for contains, is also faster because it's login. But then adding would be um, would be more costly because you would have to insert in the right sorting order. And so yeah, there, there are different approaches you can use. But for now, let's use the simplest solution, which is just a list, and let's quit that up. Um, okay, so let's implement our um, our solution here. Um, so what we said is we need um, we need a, a function that maps from the keys to this domain. Um, so let's call it key. And what we said is going to be just key modulo size. Okay. Uh, now we need to define that the size that we want. We can do it whichever we like. So for now, let's just start off maybe with ten thousand as the size. Um, we can also do thousand. Yeah, both work. Um, and now we'll have the our buckets, right? This is the list that we map the keys to. And so this one initially it's going to be as we said in each slot we will have a list. So this would be the size that we have here. Um, and now we need to add an element. So to add an element we first, since it's a hash set, we need to first check if it's there. If it's only only if it's not there that we add it. And so we can use this contains that we'll implement in a second. So only if it's not there that we want to add it. And so here to add it we'll do soft dot buckets. Key is equal to uh, here we need to specify the key, right? So the key would be h of k of key, right? Uh, and here we want to append. We have a list. As we said, we want to append each time. So we append the key, right? And here we'll call this function, let's call this maybe uh, index, and then call this self.h. Okay? Um, and then we use this index here. Okay? Um, now for removing, we need to check that it exists before removing it as well, right? So we need to check if it's there, and only if it's there that we try to remove it. And same thing, we need to get it from the list, get its index, the mapping, right? And we need to remove it from the bucket that it's in. So we can just say this, that's the bucket the, the key is in, and we can remove the key. 
Um, now for the contains itself, well, we need to get the index as well. And we can just check if the key is in the bucket that it mapped to, right? Because that's how we add it as well uh, here. So we can just check if key is in uh, buckets of index. And that should be pretty much it. So if we run this, um, yeah, this needs to be a function like this. Okay, this is also self dot buckets. Okay, let's submit. Okay, this passes our test cases. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the main idea here. Um, now, what's the time complexity here? So first, let's check just this one here, getting the key. This is constant. Uh, we are just doing one modular operation. Contains does this key in, which uses um, contains function uh, from Python. And that one is open because it goes through the entire list to find the value. And so what's the n, the number of elements here? The number of element is the size of the bucket. And we know that the size of, of each bucket is at most n divided by the bucket size, right? Which in our case here is 1000. So we can call this maybe the, this value here and divide it by size k. Um, and then if we if we consider this, then remove also this is of the size of the bucket, and this is O of one. So at this and this is O of size of the O of k, right? Because that's what contained uh, what what is the time complexity of contains. Uh, so then remove is the same thing, right? And add as well because we check contains and add is constant. So the, the, this is here the um, uh, one thing to note is I'm considering k to be n divided by size. Um, yeah. So the main thing, a couple of two things we can change to improve this. One thing we can change is the hash function to make it less likely that occasion, uh, collisions happen a lot. The other thing we can change is the backing thing here in in. in, in uh, we can, for here we are using a list for each bucket. We can use different things, like we can use a sorted, a, we can maintain a sorted list. That way, contain is a binary search, it's of like n. Um, and but the add it, it will be more complicated because we need to add in a sorted order. So um, maybe we add and sort so it's of n like n. Uh, n is, of course, the size of the bucket. Um, the other thing we can do is maybe use a binary search tree uh, where insert, uh, uh, insertions and deletion, I think, is the, the height of the tree, so it's um, it's a lot smaller. Uh, yeah, so different, we can also use a linked list. Their add is O1. Um, yeah, so depending on what data structure we use here, uh, we can improve the type complexity um, that we have. Uh, and depending on the the uh, the hash function we use we are less likely to have big big bucket sizes as uh, as well um, yeah so that's I think pretty much what I want to cover for this question uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next one uh, please like and subscribe um, and see you on the next one bye.